The Okanagan is like no other place in the world. We've got this, what I like to call a conspiracy of variables that come together, that create a globally unique situation. Uh, these are some of the world's, you know, the, the planet's oldest rocks, and uh, you know, they're over two billion years old, and we're growing. Uh, our, our roots are penetrating into these rocks. So, you know, so we have those variables. We have the fact that we are up at 49 to 50 degrees latitude. This is, you know, this gives us a very different aspect to the sun than Napa Valley or Bordeaux or uh, Kunawara, who, you know, whoever has. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but they're different. And so we've got all these variables. We have our, our desert climate, you know, 49, 50 degrees latitude, uh, cold winters, a short but compressed and you know nuclear hot and growing season. You know we have our soils, we have our subsoils, we have a we have a farming culture. We have our native yeasts that uh, that live here. So you know you, you pull all of these things together. There's nowhere else in the world that is like uh, uh, that is like the Okanagan Valley. Nobody else has the pleasure of farming Okanagan Valley fruit and making wine from Okanagan Valley fruit. Concrete eggs are revolutionary, and uh, you know, to use Alberto's terminology, revolutionary in the sense that, uh, that they're not radical at all, but it revolves back to, back to the beginning. Uh, this is not a new thing. It's, uh, it's a very old and traditional thing. It's the stainless steel tanks that are new. Have everyone gain 
sort of closer relationships to what's going on in the Okanagan Valley and, and, and be more involved in the process.